so welcome to um, the third part of uh, series eight on playing over changes and so far we've looked at the idea of what we might do with our D chord. Now the C and the G in this sequence tend to be fairly transitory, in other words they're just not there for very long. So a lot of the time we don't have to worry about that. In certain examples of this sequence uh, the G is there for much longer and so uh, it would be arguable we want to hang around on the G phrase to the G and so forth. Now there's still very small opportunities to do that with this particular sequence as it's written but I think probably the overriding thing that's important about this is the amount of things which we can do with the D as a chord and as a key. So, so far we've talked about playing our D major pentatonic, we've talked about playing a G major scale in addition to that, we've talked about dritting the whole thing up a little bit by using our D minor pentatonic. So there's another little point here which I think is very, very useful to think about. And that is the following, that if we're going from D to C, if we're going from D to C, this is, the implication is that D is D7. It's not going to be this, is it? So if it's a D7, that means we can use our principles of extending a 7th chord, which means we can make it a ninth chord. Okay, so this is very, very interesting because what it means is we're playing over D. but equally you could play the whole thing over a D. Okay, now if you do that, that's, this is what it sounds like. somebody to be playing these extended chord sounds for us to actually take advantage of them. Here we've decided that we'd use some ninth type harmonies to build out and flesh out the sound of the D and that seems to be working very nicely so there's nothing wrong with that. That's about it for this section so that's what I'd like you to concentrate on thinking about how much of the A minor can you use over a D. Now you might want to have a little think about possibly adding stuff to your A minor. Let's uh, let's just think about that for a second. So what would happen if we add something to the A minor and what are we going to add to it? Well, if we were playing in A minor, we'd probably play a G scale. Okay, certain situations we'd play a C, but let's just say for this particular example, we play a G scale. Well, the G scale is also our D7. Ah, so listen, that's about it for this particular segment. Uh, in the final segment of this series, short little series this one but uh, very very important because it tells us what we can do against a rocky type of chord okay which we're going to find we're playing over plenty of those okay um, so what I'm going to be doing in the last segment is just talking about how we might be able to combine some of those ideas together uh, to really get some fluency over this sequence that's it for the moment so thanks very much for watching and um, as ever if you could hit the subscribe button that'd be great and uh, I'll See you soon. Bye for now.